Do 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 do. Battery lessons with Tim. Meow. Well, hello YouTube. Today, um, we had a discussion on Clay Buddies about Potter's Eye View. So I'm gonna do one from my my point of view. I guess it's probably easier to figure out hand positions and stuff when you're sitting right in front of it rather than looking at it from a three quarter view. So I have I don't know, it's a pound and a half, two pounds of clay. Put it in the middle, hit it twice. Two rules, always keep it wet, always keep it spinning. I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna push down on these corners and get it stuck to the bat first so that I've created a seal along the edge. Center of the clay, middle of my wrist and my elbow are gonna be in a straight line. I'm gonna push against the wheel head with my right, with my left, same kind of thing, except I'm gonna be pushing more towards two o'clock. I'm gonna push down against the wheel head and squeeze together. The clay squirts out of the top of my hand. Coning up doesn't center, it's the coning down that does. We just wanna get it up. Coning down, my right hand is against the wheel head. My left thumb is gonna go on top. I'm gonna to push down and forward. That will drop into my right hand. Let it go of the pressure. And repeat, get it wet. Start against the wheel head, squeeze together. Clay comes out of the top of my hand. Let go of that pressure. Start against the wheel head, I'm gonna push down and forward again. Let that drop. And you would do this till you're centered. I'm centered enough. Open it up and take the two fingers, like a pew 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 gun. I'm gonna put my left thumb parallel to those. So if this was a bun, my thumb is the hot dog. I'm gonna wrap my left hand around the clay. I'm gonna push with the side of my finger down at a, at a 90 degree angle or so, so I make a V in the bottom. I'm gonna start the hole. When it's opened up a little bit, I'm gonna wet it and keep going until I'm a third of an inch from the bottom. third of an inch. I'm going to release the pressure, making sure all the surfaces are wet. And I'm going to move from the middle towards three o'clock. Take those same two fingers that I opened up with. I'm going to turn them on their side. I'm going to hold onto my hand, my right hand with my left. Go from the middle towards three o'clock. I'm going to open up about the size of my sponge. I'm going to wet that. Smooth the bottom out. And on the inside, I'm going to make a C is for cookie. Cookies go on the inside. I'm gonna press with the pads of my middle finger and my ring finger. It's gonna be right at the bottom. The outside, I'm gonna make a fist, stick my pointer finger up and cramp it up. I'm gonna push with this part. It's gonna be like that. I'm gonna move the camera in closer. Oh, so close. Ooh, it's spooky close. So you can see right what I'm doing. You can see right where it's hitting, right where my fingers are. They're directly across from each other. They're at the same height. I'm going to squeeze together, and as I squeeze together, I'm going to move up and towards the middle. And let go. So darn easy. Let it again. Okay, that would be pulling a cylinder. We're gonna zoom back out to do some of the rest of it. Next would be shaping that cylinder. Or can we get one more? We, nah, we, yeah, we'll cut the bottom. So we're gonna take our wooden knife. I'm gonna go directly over so you can see right from, right from the top. I'm gonna hold it like a pencil. I'm gonna put the blade side up. I'm gonna hold it so that I am at six o'clock. From six o'clock I'm gonna twist it a little bit so the blade is going into the clay. I'm going to tilt the point back so I don't catch the tip as I move into it. I'm going to start against the wheel head. At six o'clock I'm going to move into the clay till I match the wall or how far I want to go in. Then from above I'm going to hold it like a snow plow so the blade now is like the plow. I'm going to start at six. I'm going to push down through that snow bank and pull it off. So easy. Make sure the inside is wet. 
Now I'm gonna use my flexible metal rib to death to shape it. So I'm gonna take the roundy side. I'm gonna hold it so that I can flex it. I want it to be able to bend some. I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna hold it so that I'm not pushing the flat part against of the rib against the clay. I want the edge, but not straight against the edge or else I can't shape it at all. I'm holding that at like three o'clock. You can't see any shape from above, but it's got a shape now. Maybe we'll go a little bit from the side. Do, 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 do. See, now it's got a little bit of a shape. We'll go back above, and we are going to collar it in now. I'm going to take all that stuff that I just did and then collar it in, hopefully. <laughs> I wasn't planning on this much. So I'm going to start against the wheel head. I'm going to cut my hands, and I'm going to rotate. I'm going to move up. When I get to the top, I'm going to rotate that pressure in. I'm gonna get as much of my hand around it as possible. Run out a little bit of water there. Collar. We'll do it again. See, my hands are all the way around. I think that's most of the stuff, right? Yeah, I think that's everything.